GBS or Bullion Bar Syndrome as it is commonly known as, these cases have been rising in Pune recently. Till date, there are about 101 cases of Bullion Bar Syndrome that have been officially reported from Pune. So let us understand what is Bullion Bar Syndrome, what are the symptoms associated with it and what are the precautions to prevent Bullion Bar Syndrome. So, Gullion Bar syndrome generally presents with weakness of all the four limbs, that is both the hands and both the legs. Sometimes there can be complete weakness of both upper limbs and lower limbs, and there can be other associated features as well, like the patient can present with breathlessness or difficulty in breathing, and also diplopia, that is double vision, and sometimes he can have other symptoms such as difficulty in swallowing, but these are very rare. So, whenever somebody experiences symptoms like this, it is best to meet a neurologist at the earliest. Now, coming to the reason why people get Gullion Bar syndrome, most likely reason is a very, very trivial viral infection which can present initially like a diarrhea or upper respiratory tract infection like cold. After cold or after diarrhea, about four or five days after that, patients generally start developing weakness of the limbs and the other symptoms that I have already mentioned about. So, if treated at the right time, in a certain manner, Gullion Bar syndrome patients generally do well. But a certain subset of patients, the severity of GBS is extremely high. These patients require extensive monitoring and aggressive treatment at the right time. So, I would advise everybody to immediately meet a neurologist whenever somebody experiences symptoms like this. Coming to the Pune scenario, there are about 101 cases of GBS that have been already reported till date. And the most uh, likely reason is a waterborne infection is what the health officials have stated. But the reason is not completely known yet. What the health advisory says is that we have to drink boiled water and also avoid eating outside and also to eat home cooked food that is not stale. 